Come on in and join me. I'm streaming live on Instagram as well as Facebook in the group, the Empowered Spirit Circle, as well as my page, Natural Forces Studio. So welcome, everybody. Come on in and join me. Come on in. Let me know if you're here. Let me know if you can hear me. Coming on in and joining me tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get this going. Come on in and join me. Live streaming. Here I am on Instagram and Facebook. T, how is your retreat? Is it over? Oh my goodness. I've enjoyed watching it. Hey, Kendall. Hey there, Buffy. How are you? Guys, welcome. Come on in and join me. I'm streaming over here on Instagram and Facebook. All right. Come on in. Give me a thumbs up that you can hear me and that we're streaming okay. All right. I got a little wave. Hello, Tara. You're on the way home. All right. Yay, T. On the way home. Hey, Andretta. How are you, woman? How is everybody doing? All right. Let me know if you can hear me. Especially over here on Instagram, you never know. All right, everybody. So welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for my Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on. We talk about the energy for the week. We align our energy, and we look to the cards as well. So maybe you have some questions on what's going on, and we'll talk about all that energy. We really have a great week coming up. I'm very excited to kind of move into this week. Right out. We've got some Mars energy that's moving into Scorpio. What does that really mean? But really, it's like an action energy. But Scorpio has a little water, so it's not like it's not like we have to go so direct in our action. But it's going to start to feel the energy moving forward. You're going to start to feel a little bit more of wanting to get those things done, wanting to really move forward. So it's really more of finding the creative energy and ways in which you can move forward, but not with a lot of force, all right? We're still in retrograde, which actually another great thing this week goes out, goes direct on Wednesday. But always we must remember it takes a few days for Mercury to move out of that retrograde energy. So just being careful in what you're doing, but know that we're going to start to feel that energy move forward. And that's really the theme for this week is action oriented, moving forward and expanding. Because the other really great thing this week is that we move into the sun sign of Sagittarius. Yay. All right. We're going to move out of that heavy Scorpio energy. Sagittarius is more about the adventure, the wander, the gypsy even, a lot more lighter in energy. There is fire in Sagittarius, but we're definitely going to feel the lifting of that energy from Scorpio. All right. So lots going on this week. Lots of shifting. So really, the caution is to be careful with your energy. Don't move too fast. All right? Definitely be grounding your energy and really just kind of being aware of what you're doing, especially as you move into the energy of the weekend. And all this energy starts to shift and move out. So really being careful with all that you're doing, communicating, driving, all of that kind of energy, and especially as you move into the holiday season. So yes, we are definitely going to see a big shift in energy. We're going to see that Sag energy coming in. Sag energy is just fun. It's the adventure of the Zodiac. It's that wander. It's the gypsy energy. It's also the one that's like learning and knowledge and bringing all that energy forward. So we're all going to start to see that shift in energy. Because you know Scorpio has been pretty intense for a lot of us. Scorpio energy has just been like pushing on us. Go deep, go deep, go deep. Now we're going to be able to come up and lighten up and especially with Mercury going direct. So we're going to start to feel that shift. So Monday and Tuesday is a great time to be really creative in what you're doing. You're going to want to start to move forward, but don't be so pushy about it. Like really, just maybe even find an indirect way to start to move your energy forward. Really important. And we're going to all feel that. And then Wednesday, like I said, Mercury's going to start to move out. We're going to feel that. It's going to take a couple of days. But by the time we get to Friday and that Sag energy coming in, we are all going to feel very uplifted. We're going to feel like celebrating, like having a good time. And we're definitely going to feel the start of the holiday season coming in. So really is a very uplifting and expanding week. Sagittarius energy is really a fun energy. It's a really great time to really just like, you know, be the wanderer, be the gypsy energy, learn more, expand more, share, really share your knowledge with others as well. And so a lot of that come forward for all of us. All right, so it's going to be a fun week, very uplifting and very expanding. 
Sag energy is a lot of fun. And we'll talk about it, especially next week, towards the end of next weekend, next week after that. We're going to talk about it because we'll have that new moon coming in. I think the new moon comes in on the 26th, all right? So that new moon will be in Sagittarius. So we'll talk even more about the influence of the new moon on you. But it is a fun time to start really opening up your energy. I do find one of the great stones that we work with for that Sag energy is the Aventurine, all right? It's a green stone. They call it a lucky stone. It's lucky for travel. So if you find you have to travel, especially over the holiday weekend, that means me, bring some. Put some in your pocket. It's a lucky for love. It'll keep you safe. And it's a fun one to expand your energy. So one of the ones I always love to remember. And this cute, it's a little Buddha. A little Buddha of Aventurine, all right? Aventurine, Aventurine, you'll hear it pronounced both ways. So that's the energy going on for this week. So where can you begin to expand that energy for yourself? Where can you open up to all that you've been learning? And what have you learned during the Mercury retrograde? What came up for you? That's going to be an important thing because that's going to help you move forward, especially as you move out to the rest of the year. All right, really important to move forward. We're going to see that shift of energy come in. You're going to be able to get some of the work done that maybe you've been putting off all year or maybe you've been wanting to do, or maybe even just simply sitting down. I know I've been doing this this past week, just kind of regaining my energy, sitting down and reflecting on like what has been working, what can I move forward with, and a lot of that energy is going to be really important. So finding the creative aspects to do it, all right? And again, that Mars energy is coming in. Mars is generally in Aries, but this is going to be in that Scorpio energy. And so that's going to help you be a little more creative and feel that forward motion going on. So that's the energy as we move to the week. Lots of shifts and lots of changes. So where can you bring that into your week as you begin for yourself, all right? Where can you make those shifts and those changes? And again, being careful with that shift in the retrograde energy, knowing that it does take a little bit of time to move forward. All right, so let's take a moment and just bring all that in. And let's take a moment to actually do a little meditation and bring in gratitude. Gratitude is a really great thing, especially this time of year, to really kind of look at your life and what's been going on and all the many things. I know right now I'm really grateful for my health. I'm so much better in my chest, and I'm really grateful. As I look back a year ago, it was like all starting for me. So I know gratitude for my own health is really important. So as we move through the meditation tonight, just think about where you are really grateful for as well. All right, so let's just take a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. And just starting to bring your energy in, pulling it in, calling it back from the week, inhaling, bringing that breath up the spine, and exhale, bring it all the way back down, calling in your higher self, and just beginning to align with that energy, feeling it coming in for you. As I go ahead and light a little sage, and pull your energy in, calling in your higher guidance, calling in your spiritual body. Feeling the alignment coming in, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Calling back your energy from all the running around you've been doing. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale and just feel the energy coming in. As we take this time and honor where we are, today I was out in the medicine wheel, such a beautiful day. Realigning the rocks and the stones, course correcting my own life. Take a nice deep inhale. Where can you course correct in your own life right now too? As we look to the energy of the medicine wheel, always turning, always moving, symbolic of our own life. The medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the west where the energy of fall resides, where we honor the day, the sunset, the experiences of our life, and we offer the gratitude for all the many things going on. Taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale as we ground and set the directions out for guidance and protection this week. We honor the directions of the west, the north, the east, and the south. The energy above us, below us, calling in right into the very center, calling into your spirit. Setting your intention for this week and just bringing that energy right into that third eye center. And begin to embody that energy for you. What will this feel like for you as this energy comes in? The peace, the joy, maybe it's prosperity, maybe it's lightness, maybe it's romance. There is a little romance going on in the energy out there as well. Embody that energy for you. Release the intention out into the universe, but feel what it would feel like. And embody that for you as you open up to this week. 
Take a moment and offer that gratitude for your life. Gratitude is an ascending emotion. And as we say in Reiki, just for today, I am grateful. What are you grateful for? And allow the energy to raise your vibration. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling that gratitude coming in. Lifting your vibration all for the highest good, as we say. Inhaling and exhaling. Pulling the energy in. Feeling that gratitude coming forward for your health, for your life, for all the many blessings you have as we harvest this work. That is the energy of the September, of the fall, of the fall, all the way into October, November, and December. That is the energy that we work with this month. Bring in the awareness back. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Opening up, coming back, feeling that alignment for you, feeling this nice focus coming in. Opening the eyes as you're ready. Coming back, inhaling, and exhaling. Bringing that awareness back. Coming back. So we look to the cards for guidance. I love it. The first card that comes up for all of us is the sun. I love it because the sun sign is shifting. The sun reminds us that it is always shining on our back door. So again, just offering that gratitude Feeling that hope return to your life. If it's been a struggle, know that it's going to shift. We're going to feel this coming in. So this is a really great card for all of us to start at. It is a major card, which means, yes, we're going to feel some major shifts going on. And this week is going to start that out. So what else can we do to help contribute and bring this sun energy and let that sun shine? And the tarot, we see this as like a victory energy. Like, yes, through all the struggles, I persevered and it is going to shift and change. All right. So that does give us a lots of hope as well. All right, so if you chose card number one, this is a son of pentacles. So this is a card that is a very, it's a loyal card. It's do your work. And as you can see, it's like head down, stay focused. The trouble that can come in sometimes is too focused and too short-sighted. So don't forget to come up for breath every once in a while. But this can be a good card to help you kind of move forward in some of that action-oriented work because it is so that very like methodical, it's grounding, it's earth energy, and it's really getting the details done. But again, don't forget to come up for air and look and see what's going on, all right? If you chose card number two, another people card, this is the Daughter of Swords. So this card is like, again, it's like some of those details. It's like that psychic energy coming forward, but it is definitely a very detail-oriented uh, uh, energy coming forward. The, the caution here is not to get too picky in your life, all right? So it's good to be detailed. It's good to go for those fine things finishing work, that kind of thing. But again, being careful that you don't get too picky in what you're doing. But it is someone that's very alert and very aware. So check into that awareness of what is going on around you, all right? And that's going to help you feel the gratitude of that sun energy. And then the third card, I love this card. It's always like a new beginning. It's the Fool card. So as we move out, all that old Scorpio energy and the retrograde, you will feel like a new beginning coming forward. Take the innocence of that energy and go forward with what you want to do. That's part of that action-oriented week. All right, so as we move forward to the week, the main card for all of us is feeling that sun energy, feeling that renewed hope, feeling the sun is shining for you. Again, gratitude is a really great way to come into this. All right, be methodical, get your work done, be detail-oriented, plot along, but be careful and be sure to look up every once in a while to get the bigger picture. All right, this is like be aware, know the, de the details of your life, get a little picky, but careful not to get too picky to where you criticize everything. And then know that there is a new beginning coming, all right, as we move all this energy out and we switch energy, even coming into the winter, another like 30 days, right? But this is a new beginning and this is going to help bring forward that Sag energy and release a lot of that Scorpio energy that was feeling so heavy for many of us. All right, so take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how that feels for you. And if you'd like a card or you have a question, be sure to put that in the post below, all right? Definitely let's do that. So good to see so many people here. Yay. All right, so coming up, coming up, 
this week. Let's see. I had a new podcast drop yesterday all about the Akashic readings. I'm going to be talking about different spiritual tools. I interviewed a really fascinating woman right here from Alabama, a medical intuitive and psychic woman, um, Helen Ryan. She'll be on probably next week. But this week was really great about the Akashic readings and why working with the soul energy is so important. So be sure to check that out. I also have a Reiki 2 class coming up December 7th, so coming along, the early bird. we got one more week for that, so be sure and sign up. And then I'm going to be doing a full moon circle on 12-12, a big energy over at Beacon Yoga. So definitely you're going to want to come join us for that as well. And then lots of other things at Birmingham Yoga as well. So many things going on. Be sure and check out my website. National Forces Studio has all those details. So let me know if you have any questions about that as well. All right. So, just letting all the energy catch up. All right, Buffy, thank you for the meditation. You're welcome. Yes. And I will draw a card for you as I look to see. Millie, I see you here too. Asking, I see those two. Hey, Lucy, how are you? Hey, Lucky, how are you? All right, shaking the cards. Pam, you've been in, you've been in Nashville. I saw that. All right, Buffy, this card is for you. How you doing? How's your Reiki? All right. We drew the temperance card for you. So this card is all about balancing the elements. All right, there's a little healing going on. Know that the balance of the elements is that fire and water. That's exactly the energy we're going through, all right? We're moving out of the water energy of Scorpio into the fire of Sagittarius. So where can you balance that energy for you, all right? Too much fire and water, steam. We don't want that. Too much water puts out the fire. So finding that balance of energy, and this is a great week for this card. Great card, great choice, all right? All right, Millie, a card for you. Millie, this card is the Three of Cups, and I feel like you've had this card a little bit recently. I don't know, but it's coming back around, and this is all about celebration, all right? Going out and celebrating something in your life with people that matter to you. Let me know if we've had this again and wondering why it's coming up again. I feel like we, you've drawn this before. So what can you celebrate? When we celebrate our accomplishments in life, boy, it makes the confidence grow. We celebrate the achievements in our life is what I'm trying to say. It makes that confidence grow. All right, so where can you go out and celebrate with people that matter, all right? All right, great card. I always love a celebration, all right, especially as we move through the holidays. All right, let me know if you'd like a card. All right, Sin, here's a card for you. I know, Sin, you've been working really hard. So let's see what the universe has to say. So this is a two of wands, all right? So this is about the passions and desires. It's about choosing a focus and really moving forward with it. But look how the rainbows come in. Look how the colors come in with this card. So really, this is your, what is the passion and desire in your life? What can you see to have that direction for you? So good time to reflect on this card and go forward with that purpose and that passion exactly for you. All right. Good card. All right. I think all the cards are good. All right, Kat, this card is for you. All right. Let's see what comes forward. This is the devil card. All right. People get a little flipped out with this card, but really this card reminds me of just asking the question, like what's getting in my way? Where am I self-sabotaging my life? All right. So remember that you are in charge of this. And lots of times we look to like, what are the addictions? Addictions of the mind, addictions of any other things too, eating, food, gambling. There's so many addictions in life. But generally it's like, what is that self-sabotage coming in for you? And where can you begin to let that go? Where can you ground your energy, release that for you so that you can shine your light in the highest capacity? All right, let me know how that resonates as well. All right, Raylene, this card is for you. This card is the nine of, of wands. I love this card when it shows up because it talks about really building that energy, being persistent, building the energy. And again, that's the passions and the desires, and it is showing that moon energy. So it's trusting that intuition, trusting that you are definitely exactly where you need to be. Nines do represent that there is more to come. So keep doing what you're doing, Raylene, and more will come as you build your practice and the work that you're doing. And it is of that passions and desires. Millie says, we did have it, Millie. So how interesting is that? All right. All right. Let us know, Raylene, how that resonates. All right. Lucky, lucky, I miss you guys. We're going to try and make the sweat lodge in December. So this card is for you. The mother of pentacles. So this is all about nurturing, being very grounded with the earth. And I always like to say like nurturing yourself. I know it shows like the baby here. So we can nurture in many ways, but it always reminds me to really 
nurture myself as well. When I am nurtured, everybody else around me is too. So really great time to nurture yourself as well, all right? And it is the pentacles. So really being creative in how you're doing your work and really opening up more to that earth energy. All right, Raylene, thank you so much. You look forward to the podcast. Yay, thank you. Well, that is so good to know. Yay, I appreciate that. Yeah, really good podcast this week, I have to say. All right. All right, so we got a good card over here. Great, Buffy. All right, Sin, I hope that was helpful for you. Hey, Artisha, how you been? How's that little boy? All right, let's see who else would like a card. If I have skipped you, just go ahead and post again. It goes scrolling so fast that I can't quite see it. Dreta, how are you doing? I miss seeing you. All right, Buffy says she got it. All right, anybody else that I missed? Hey, Steph, how are you? All right, I think we've got everybody covered. Again, like I said, if you missed, if I missed you, please post again. I'll give it a minute to catch up. All right, there we go. So, so much is happening. We've got a little bit longer, about another six weeks to the end of the year. Can you believe it? We have so much fun, so many things that are time to really just kind of open up that energy and really offer gratitude and express all those many things in your life. A really great time coming forward. All right, let's see if there's anybody else. All right, thank you so much. Thanks so much, so excited. Okay, great. All right, guys, I think I've gotten everybody. And again, know that this is a big shift of week, of energy. All right, Wednesday by Friday, definitely, and into the weekend. So again, just be careful again. Generally, when Mercury starts to go in direct motion, there is a little snafus going on. So if you're traveling or you're driving, just really be careful and pay attention to what you're doing, all right? Definitely a good time to look at that. All right, everybody, ground your energy. Be grateful for all the many blessings in your life as we move through this week. Open up to who you are. Be action-oriented. Be creative in your endeavors. Tune into your spirit and align those intentions for you. Thanks again for joining me. I always love coming on and sharing this knowledge with you guys and aligning my energy as well. So have a great week. To your spirit, namaste.